Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's episode, we're going to be talking all about browsing the web on Windows XP. Yes, even seven years after its end of support, it is still possible to do this in the year 2021. And no, I'm not talking about using a site like the old net to access old snapshots of web pages. I'm talking about using a modern web browser that is still updated and supported on XP to this day to access modern websites like Twitter and YouTube and even watch YouTube. YouTube videos like this one you're watching right now. Now, all of the mainstream web browsers out there, like Google Chrome, Firefox, Microsoft Edge, and Opera, all support Windows 7 or above. Now, Edge and Opera are based on Google Chrome, and Google Chrome itself currently holds the majority of web browser market share. But the two browsers I'm going to show you today are related to Firefox. And while it is possible to do this, I wouldn't really recommend it for any sensitive browsing. I think this goes without saying. I wouldn't really recommend logging into your bank on Windows XP. Even though these browsers are up to date and supported, XP is not the most secure operating system today by any means. Now, my criteria in selecting these browsers really came down to three major things. Number one, I wanted a browser whose newest version runs natively on Windows XP. Now, it is possible to just go and download an old version of Google Chrome or Firefox, etc., but that defeats the entire purpose of what we're trying to do here. I don't want a version of a web browser that is out of date and potentially has security vulnerabilities. Number two, I want the browser to have had a new version version released within the last year. And number three, I wanted to avoid Chromium-based browsers mainly because Chrome is a huge memory hog, as we all know. And chances are, if you have a Windows XP computer, you're going to be limited to 4 gigabytes of memory due to the limitations of the 32-bit architecture. Now, there are exceptions to this, especially the 64-bit release of Windows XP, but in the vast majority of circumstances, 4 gigabytes of memory is going to be the maximum amount that you can use on your XP machine. In the end, I settled on two web browsers to demonstrate today. MyPal and Kmillion. We're going to start out with MyPal. I've got the web page loaded up right here in Internet Explorer 8.0. And as is the case for both of these browsers websites, you can access them in Internet Explorer 8.0 and download the browsers right to Windows XP using this browser. So you don't have to use a separate computer or anything like that, which is really awesome. Now, the MyPal website, it is very basic. It tells you a little bit about it. It says right here, looking for the perfect Windows XP web browser. MyPal is a current and maintained browser from Windows XP. Turn that old PC into something useful. You have a download link right here. You can also download older versions by clicking on this link here. And there is a 64-bit release as well if you happen to be using the 64-bit release of XP or if you happen to be running this on a newer operating system. Now, MyPal is based off of Pale Moon, which itself is based off of Mozilla Firefox. Now, again, you could go and just download an old version of Pale Moon, but again, that defeats the entire purpose of this video because the latest version of Pale Moon requires Windows 7 or above. It does not support Windows XP. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and take a look at my pal so I've got the browser downloaded right here we can just launch the uh, you know launch it from the shortcut on the desktop and this is what it looks like now one of the things I really love about this browser is its modern design it really looks like a modern version of Firefox. You've got similar looking buttons over here. You've got animations when you click on things like the HTTPS information up here. And of course, we can view the current uh, certificate for DuckDuckGo here if we want to. But just, you know, you got animations. You've got a nice new tab. Going to help and about reports the version as 28.14.2. It also once again says it's based off of Pale Moon and it was adapted for Windows XP and Server 2003. We can also view the source code by clicking on the GitHub link right here, which will take you to its GitHub.io page. Though we can actually view the source code by clicking on this link right here. Here. Now, the latest version, 29.0.1, was released about a month ago in February of 2021. But as you just saw, this is not the version that we're currently using. That's because 
the version offered for download on the website is still 28.14.2. So that's just the version we're using for this video. Now going to about colon, which will display the about information, identifies the Firefox version as 68.9. Now what's interesting is the latest version, 29.0.1, identifies it as 68.0, which was released sometime in 2019. 68.9 uh, was released in June of 2020. Now the current version of Firefox is 86.0, as you can see right here. This is uh, the Firefox about window on my main computer running Windows 10. And because this is a modern browser, we can access websites like YouTube. I can go to my YouTube channel here and you can see that the page loads really without any issues. All of the images and thumbnails display properly. There's no weird formatting errors or anything like that. And we can even play back video. Like here's my channel trailer right here, the AT&T video phone video. And we can play it and you'll see it plays back in a very, very good frame rate. It's very smooth playback. There's no stuttering at all. You will notice a bit of lag when you go into full screen, for example, but overall it, it plays back really well. Now, granted, I did give this virtual machine four gigabytes of RAM to, to basically give us the best possible experience here. So if you have less RAM on your computer, like if you only have, say, 256 megabytes or 512 megabytes of RAM, obviously that is going to affect uh, how fast the computer can play back video. Obviously, your processor speed is going to impact that as well. But this really plays back very, very well, even in 1080p here. Uh, that is currently the uh, resolution this is set to. I can set it to 720p if we want to. And even go to the video watch page. Let's just do that here. We'll go to the watch page and we can view all of the related videos, all of the comments here come in without any problems. Obviously, we can also go to sites like Twitter. We can go to twitter.com slash MJD tweets here. This is my Twitter, by the way, if you would like to follow me over here to get updates on my you know current video projects I'm working on. I post all sorts of stuff over here. Uh, you will notice a couple of things like the numbers here. They are not supposed to be super scripts <laughs> like that. So uh, that is, you know, you are going to notice slight little formatting, things like that. But uh, overall, I'm very, very impressed with this browser's performance. That is, uh, that is for sure. But this browser is not going to behave exactly like a modern version of Firefox. Obviously, you can't expect it to. One of the limitations it has is with extensions. You cannot install extensions from the Mozilla Firefox extension store or database, whatever you want to call it. So let's go ahead and download uh, Bitwarden, for example, or try to download Bitwarden. Uh, so you'll see that the download button will be replaced with only with Firefox, get Firefox now, and this just takes you to the Mozilla Firefox download page. But you can download the file manually by clicking on this button right here, and when you do that, at first it will look like it's downloading just fine, but you'll eventually get this message right here, which says the add-on downloaded from addons.mozilla.org could not be installed because MyPal does not support web extensions. And this is the API that modern Firefox extensions rely on to function properly. But that isn't to say that you can't use any extensions with MyPal. In fact, if you go over to the features page over on the MyPal website, it will specifically mention extensions and say that it supports many any Pale Moon extensions, as well as legacy or pre-quantum Firefox extensions. And you can access these extensions by going to websites like this one, which will be linked down below. And this page has a selection of a few old Firefox extensions that do not utilize the Web Extensions API. We're gonna focus on this view source and tab one here just for this demonstration. So normally when you view a web page source in MyPal, you right click and go to view page source, you get this separate window right here, right? Well, this extension will allow you to view the source in a new tab when you click on view page source here. So to install it, we're gonna click on the link right here. It'll take you to the GitHub page for that specific uh, extension and we're going to download it by going over to the releases area here and clicking on the download for the XPI file here. Now, when you do this, my pal is going to warn you that uh, this add-on is from a non-verified author, and it just warns you that this could potentially be malicious software. This is normal behavior for any extension that uh, is outside of the Firefox add-ons database. So we're gonna click on install now, 
and it will install as you can see it says view source and tab will be installed after you restart my pal so we'll click restart now it'll restart for us and now if we right click and go to view page source it will open up the page source in a new tab as opposed to in a new window uh, it's a very simple extension but obviously that is going to be the same process for all of the extensions on this site here as well as all of the extensions that you happen to find on other websites i'm sure that they're out there you can download old uh, versions of these firefox extensions and that is my pal i gotta say i really really like this browser it's probably my favorite out of the two but we're not done yet because we're gonna take a look at another web browser called kmelian now, I'm sure most of you have heard of this browser. I have mentioned it in passing on this channel before. It's actually been around for many years, since the year 2000. It's 21 years old, this project here. And they still support Windows XP today. Now, the browser itself is not based on Firefox directly, but it is based on the Gecko layout engine that is developed by Mozilla, at least for the current stable release, which is 75.1. If we go to download here, and uh, go to, we scroll down here, you can see the latest stable release with the Gecko engine is 75.1. But this version of Chameleon was released in 2015, which certainly puts it outside of the year time frame I wanted to have for, you know, a recent version of the browser to be released. However, Chameleon has another version based on the Goanna engine, which is a fork of the Gecko engine. And even though this version right here, 76.2G, was released in 2019, this is not the newest version. The newest version was released in February of 2021, just last month as the time I'm recording this video, which checks off our second bullet point in that list. So to download it, you have to click on the form thread link right here, which will take you to a form thread which you then have to click on this link to go to another form thread to download the latest version, which is 76.4.1. So let's go ahead and check it out. Now, when you download it, unlike in the case of my palette, it doesn't download an installer, it downloads a 7z file that contains a uh, installation of Chameleon right here. And to run it, you want to click on chameleon.exe. And this is what Chameleon looks like. It has a very simplistic design. It really fits in well with the Windows XP's design language. And this is because the Chameleon uses the native Windows API for its user interface, as opposed to Zool, which is the API that Firefox and other Mozilla browsers use. And this also contributes to less resource usage by Chameleon than other browsers browsers like MyPal. Just to show you this, we're going to go to uh, duck.com here or duck.go and we're going to also open up MyPal and just for comparison's sake, we're going to remove the add-on that we just installed. So we will remove the view source in new tab extension. So this is a vanilla version of MyPal here and we're going to go to duck.go, which we're already here. Okay. So we've got these two browsers open. Let's open up a uh, task manager and see how much memory we are using. And you'll see that MyPal is using around a 134 megabytes of memory, whereas Chameleon is using 89 megabytes of memory, just in loading this one web page right here. And you'll notice this also when we go to YouTube. Let's go to YouTube here, and we'll go to my channel on uh, here as well. And you'll see that obviously the memory usage will increase, but uh, MyPal will still utilize more memory than Chameleon, though. They do come pretty close on a site like YouTube, as you can see, but Chameleon still utilizes less memory on average, even with playing back a video here than uh, MyPal does. So yes, and this is just like a basic test, obviously, but if you're really looking for a browser that is pretty light on memory usage, uh, I would recommend Chameleon. But the user interface is more simplistic. You don't really have any of those fancy animations like you do in MyPal, but it still works just fine. It even has some nice features like this prime privacy bar right here. Now, what this does is it allows you to disable things like cookies, JavaScript, pop-ups, and images on web pages. So I just have this all disabled. Let's reload the page here. And you'll notice that the web page becomes unusable now because we have all of this stuff disabled. But if you want to access a web page and not have any images display or not have any JavaScript run in the background, uh, you can absolutely disable all of that. We'll just undo that so we can actually view the page here. DuckDuckGo would be a better example of this because let me just do a search for Michael MJD here. Uh, DuckDuckGo has a non-JavaScript page. So if we disable JavaScript and refresh, 
it will, you see it says right there, you're being redirected to the non-JavaScript site. And so here is the non-JavaScript version of DuckDuckGo. We can also uncheck images here or uh, disallow images and reload. And now no images will display. So yes, this is a pretty nice uh, privacy feature that sets Chameleon apart from MyPal. But just like MyPal, you're not going to be able to use Firefox add-ons from the Firefox add-ons database. We'll just uncheck this here so we can actually load the page properly. You'll see the exact same thing. You get the only with Firefox, get Firefox now button here, which just takes you to the Firefox download page. And clicking on download file doesn't do anything. There's not going to be like an animation or an installation uh, process pop out up here like you have in my pal that just fails. It doesn't do anything at all. Now with Chameleon, uh, there are a set of extensions that you can download from the Chameleon extension data database, which you can access by going to this link here. And uh, these are extensions that work in the Chameleon browser, obviously, but to install them, you have to install the Chameleon extensions manager, which is a separate uh, program. Now, this does not come included with Chameleon by default. Uh, this add-ons button up here is not normally going to be here. I just already have this installed. That's why it shows up here. This is the Chameleon extension manager right here. But uh, to get this, you have to download uh, the version of it right here, either the NT or the 9X version. And you'll get a zip file that contains a bunch of files that you want to drag into your installation folder here. So like this is the manager exe file right here but once you have it installed you can go to the chameleon extensions central here and let's go to k plugins which are special chameleon plugins and let's get the search bar so one of the other things that chameleon doesn't have is, is it does not have a search bar up here now you can just do a search right from the address bar but if you like having a separate search bar you can download this extension right here so we can click on it here and it will download the 7z file which you can open up by going to here and then clicking on uh, run installer and then search for the 7z file or you can right click on it and go to km extension and that will just download it for you right here and install it automatically. So now it will restart Chameleon and you'll see we have the search bar up here though it doesn't really display fully, we have to drag it here. So we'll do that. And here is the search bar. So we can once again, just do a search for Michael MJD if we want to. The default search engine in both of these browsers, by the way, is DuckDuckGo. Uh, you can obviously change that if you want to. I personally use DuckDuckGo. It's a, it's a pretty great search engine. But uh, yes, you can change it if you want to. And if you're curious, um, the version of Firefox that Chameleon reports here is version 52.9, which is from 2018. That is definitely a bit older than the version reported in MyPal, but it's still a pretty recent version of Firefox, considering that, again, this is Windows XP. And just to show you, we can go to YouTube once again. And just like on MyPal, all of the thumbnail images display properly. The layout of the site is, is totally normal. And we can go and watch YouTube videos. Like here's my ATT video phone video once again. Obviously you saw this in the performance demo earlier, but the video plays back. It's currently playing back in 1080p and it plays back at, you know, the, the proper frame rate. We can make it full screen again. And uh, there it is. We can scrub through the video. We can get those little, uh, you know, previews as we do so. We can scrub to, say, 9 minutes and 26 seconds in. And there we go. So, yeah, I mean, and again, you will notice some, some mild stuttering uh, with the video. But overall, it plays back very, very well. Again, this is, you know, I have four gigabytes of RAM and this is a virtual machine. Obviously, your mileage is going to vary depending on what your physical hardware is if you're doing this on a, a physical Windows XP computer. But there you have it, guys. Those are two web browsers that you can use in 2021 to still browse the web on Windows XP. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever I upload a new video, which I do multiple times every single week on this channel. And as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.